Thanks so much for being here. I'm so glad that you joined me. I want to talk all about mistakes on keto because when I tried the keto diet, I wanted to lose weight and I ended up gaining 20 pounds. I made every mistake that you can imagine and it wasn't until I really studied keto, I tried and tested so many different things that I found out how to do it properly. I lost over 40 pounds. I got my body fat percentage down from over 38 down to 23%. I leaned out, I built strong muscles and bones, and I am enjoying the best health that I've ever had. I'm more satiated and full than ever before because a keto diet turns you into a fat burner. You become fat fueled, and you're able to burn your own stored body fat for fuel. It's really cool. So basically, a keto diet is a diet where you control your carbohydrate intake. It's a very low carbohydrate intake diet. And you can actually be either a sugar burner or a fat burner. Most people don't know this, but you can actually be one or the other. And by doing a ketogenic diet, you can get your body into fat-fueled, fat-burning mode. And you can actually burn your stored body fat for fuel. Now our bodies store our body fat super easily. I don't know about you, but my body is really good at making fat. And it does this for our survival. It does this because it's also really, really good at burning fat. But most of us never actually get the opportunity to actually burn fat for fuel because when in our constant lifestyles of convenience, we're always eating and so our bodies never access that potential that we have to actually burn fat. On a keto diet, you really control your carbohydrates and your starches and you get those down to a low enough amount. You prioritize protein and healthy fats, so you have tons of great nutrients coming in, you have energy from healthy fats coming in, and you get your body into the state where you deplete your glycogen storage from your liver and your muscles, and you're then able to tap into your body's stored fat. So our bodies store excess energy on our bodies in the form of fat, and it's there as this ready reserve for us to tap into. When we control our carbohydrate intake and do a very low carbohydrate intake, then we're able to get into this space where we can burn our own body fat because our glycogen storage gets depleted and then we can tap into all of that energy that we've stored for us for a time when we wouldn't have access to external food at a time when food wasn't so readily available 24 hours around the clock. You know, we have all these apps where you can order food and DoorDash and this and that, but there was a time when we didn't have food so readily available and during those times we needed to be able to store energy for later use. That's why our bodies are so good at making fat. Now in our modern lifestyles of convenience, we have constant access to food and that's why we really never get into the post-absorptive state and we never actually burn our own stored body fat. So. I don't know about you, but I tried every single diet out there and I was trying to burn fat and I would see the scale go down, but it was never really lasting or sustainable. And it was always because I was doing a short term diet. Now the main difference with keto is it's a lifestyle. So you start to nourish your body so, so well from getting all your nutrient needs met from really quality proteins and healthy fats. You get all your essential nutrients, fat soluble vitamins, everything that your body really needs, all the essential amino acids and fats, so your body is super well nourished. You start to become super satisfied from this diet and because you're also controlling your carbohydrate intake, your glycogen storage gets used up and then you can access your stored body fat. So doing a keto diet is really all about controlling the starches and making sure that you prioritize quality proteins and you get healthy fats in there and you really just focus on controlling the carbs and starch. So when you control starches and control your carbohydrate intake, get your protein and healthy fats prioritized, you can become a fat burning machine. And I teach you all about how to do it on the 28 Day Ketogenic Girl Challenge. Now this program 
doesn't just come with the meal plans and shopping lists and guide to get into keto. It comes with my unlimited coaching and support. So you can join the challenge program and I will be there as your buddy and your cheerleader coaching you along as you try out keto for yourself. And any questions that you have, I am there to answer them. Studies show that having a buddy or a friend or someone to do a new diet or lifestyle with helps us get to our results so much faster and more effectively. So I would love to have you join the challenge. If you want to ask me any questions, drop them here in the comments below. I would love to answer them and send you more information about the program, what a sample day looks like, what you can expect from the challenge, and I would love to help you become fat fueled and get to your goals today. So check out the 28 day ketogenic girl challenge at ketogenicgirl.com.